So today I'm out here for this event with the Chu Crew. They use goats to clear land around UGA and I provide the goats for them to do so. They'll be out here for three weeks and then we'll move them over to the space at Tannard Creek, which is next to the Hull Street parking deck. So I have 18 goats right now, just had two born last week. Their temporary names are Espresso and Cafe au Lait, just for their colors. I think that the goats just draw people to green spaces. That's part of why we like doing this. Uh, this space is totally overgrown. There's a couple trails through it, but people just walked by it and kind of ignored it. There was a lot of trash on it. But once you bring the goats in, people really start to notice the green space, and it opens it up. You get to some more sight lines going through it, and the trails become nicer. Everybody likes to look at a site that has goats on it. And then after the goats are gone, it'll be a prettier site, and people will be able to look back and say, hey, remember the goats were here? And you know, they'll get to hike through it and look at you know, a much better, more native, uh, greenscape. So we are senior graphic design students and we made a calendar to promote the Chew Crew. So with our calendar we worked really hard to incorporate the time aspect of it. Um, so as you flip through the goats eat more of the greenery that's there like they actually do here on campus. So we just wanted to be able to see that progression through the year. So each month you flip the page and more of the invasive species have been eaten. It's kind of silly but we had a lot of fun. <laughs>